Hi guys, welcome to Projects Geek. So in our last video, we saw how to add a compute node to message flow, and then we returned some default data from that node. So it was a get request, and we were not sending any data to the service. So in this video, we will send some data to the service, and then we will get some data from the service. So our expectations are like this. So we want to do a POST request to the same service and I want to send some data as part of request. So I'm sending username and the password. And in the response, I want to see the same data which I sent in the request plus I want to get some more data. So as part of this video, we are just hard coding this data. This is the dummy data. But in subsequent tutorials, you will see how to fetch data from DBR as well. So let's start. So this is our compute node and we have an eSQL file for that compute node. So this is the code which we wrote in the last tutorial. So we will start on top of it. So if you see in the response, first we are copying the data we have in the request. So how to do that? So to make it work, I'll say output root. I want to send some data to the output root and the data is coming from input root. So whatever request we are getting, I'm just setting it to the output root. Now I will copy this and If you see, we have role, name and registered. So I will say role and I'll hard code the data as admin. And the third one is registered. I will put it as yes so that's all if you see we have five fields in the response two we already copied and three we are hard coding so two fields will be taken care by this statement and three we are hard coding so let me build this project and deploy Okay, so now I'll hit the service. So this is the response we are getting. If I change it to two, we are getting user two. And if I change it to one, two, three, we are getting the same data. So this is just a dummy data tutorial. Like we are hard coding values or we are putting the dummy data. But in later tutorials, we will fetch the data from db based on the username and password and we will return it thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos on ibm integration bus